this should be good now. All right, look, I'm gonna keep this real short, sweet, and to the point. And it's important now where we're at in the year, the month, the day, because everyone is preying on your want for change, to lose weight, to not be fat no more, to be healthy. They're preying on that want, that hurt and that pain of you. So they're gonna sell you whatever the fuck you're gonna be gullible enough to buy, all right? Because you want a fast fix, you want a quick fix, you want something to work overnight, you want it to work right now. But the package, all they're doing is just putting it in a pretty package for you, preying on you being gullible. I mean, that, that's what they're doing. They're preying on your pain and you let them. So I'm gonna give you three different things that you, why you can't listen to these types of people. And if you don't know, well, this is you, but if you don't know if they are, well, obviously you're gonna know. I mean, it's kind of obvious for both. But anyways, listen, why? Why can you not listen to someone? Where's the uh, thing, X? A person who was on steroids. All right, let me tell you this first. Why, th use your common sense of why you can't listen to somebody who does steroids. Their body is not processing food the way that your body is processing food. Flat the fuck out. Their body is not working and building muscle the same way that your body is working and building muscle. So if you don't plan on spending money on steroids, shooting them, taking them, popping them, whatever the hell you're gonna do, don't listen to them. Why would you hire somebody who is on steroids if what they're doing is not going to be what you're going to be doing? How can they teach you anything when they don't even practice what they preach, but yet they're going to teach you something when they don't even do it? Their body's not working the same way as you. That doesn't make sense. You're never going to get the results that they're on. If you don't know if they are, maybe you should ask them. Maybe you should tell them, be honest, are you? Because I know that my body is not going to transform the way your body transforms. I know that my body is not going to perform the way that your body performs. I know that food that I eat is not going to be distributed the same way as the food that you eat. That's why you can't hire somebody who is like this, who takes steroids, period. Think about it. It's common sense. I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know or shouldn't know. Maybe you don't, but just think about what you do. This one. Why can't you hire anyone who doesn't look like they practice what they preach? Why would you hire someone who is overweight? Who can't even commit to their own program or a program, eat correctly, that is on the verge of dying themselves. It's not about trying. Don't make the excuse or generalize it or soften it or whatever words you wanna to use to soften something of a trainer that is overweight. If they're not making progress, movement is not progress. I don't give a fuck how much they move. If they're not making progress, movement is not progress. You're, you're, you're going to be doing the same movements as them because that's their teachings. That's their frame of mind. That's their mentality. That's their goal. That is them. They are going to give you them and you will only be as good as they are. So if you are not seeing progress in them, how can you expect them to teach you how to eat? Eating is number one. Fuck the movement. You could drop 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds just learning how to eat. If they can't teach you how to eat, why 
Like, why would you spend money on somebody who cannot teach you how to eat? You're wasting your fucking money. Just like going to Planet Fitness, you're wasting your money if you don't know what you're doing there. The treadmill is going to get boring. The treadmill is going to get to a point where nothing is happening anymore. If you go from not moving completely, you never worked out. You just ain't, or you ain't worked out in five years. You go jump on a treadmill. Oh my God, post, I lost 10 pounds in the last six months from walking on the treadmill. I mean, if you ain't did shit in five years, you can fucking walk around the block a couple times and lose some weight. That's real shit. It's going to stop. It's going to come to a halt, especially if you don't learn how to eat. These two people cannot teach you how to eat. They can't teach you how to eat. This body does not process food the same way your body is going to process food. This person, how can they teach you how to wait, eat when they don't even eat correctly? They're on the verge of a heart attack and stroke. Their arteries are clogged. Their diet is full of pus and mucus. Eating is number one, and neither one of those can teach you how to eat. Think about it before you jump into something, before you go hire people, before you believe hype. Before you're in your feelings and you're hurting and you want to change overnight. So they prey on you and they package it up pretty. Make you believe that something's going to happen. Sit back and look at your environment. Look at what you are about to do. Look at the person that you are about to hire. Look at the program you are about to do. Look at results from the program you are about to do. Look at the longevity of the results. That's where, that's where it's at. They, again, are not going to teach you how to eat. Now let's get to you. Yourself. You. You. Wait, yourself. Can you see that X? Yeah. You, your old diets you've done, your beliefs, your Google researching, um, all the stuff that you tried. If last New Year's resolution you tried something and it didn't work or it only worked for a short period of time, you have no longevity with your dieting and fitness. Shouldn't you... Something click. Hey, you know what? What I'm doing is not working. Maybe I should listen to somebody else. Maybe I should try to find someone who knows what they're talking about. Not just anybody. Don't be gullible. Don't let those other two or anyone else that try to push you to stuff prey on your, 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 your pain uh, of change and your hurt because that's what they're doing. Your, your way, I, don't even, I didn't even want to put self. I wanted to put your way. Your way does not work. If it is working, then there's no reason for you to do anything else. If your way's working, man, I'm glad you found your way because a, a lot of people's ways don't work because they're getting their ways off a of line. They're, they're, they're getting their ways from people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're getting their, their ways from, again, people who are preying on you. Your want, your need, your fears, your pain. They're preying on you. And, it, and that's exactly what it is. Let's sign up. Let's do six months. Let's do a year. Um, and, and, and nothing happens. Where'd you start at last year? So now I'm specifically talking to people who started a New Year's resolution last year. Where are you at with that New Year's resolution you started? I bet there's a 1%, maybe even lower than 1%, that are still dedicated or had massive results in that year. So listen, your way is not going to work. 
Glenn, now we're going to talk about me. Talk about me last. Shut the fuck up and eat. That ebook that I put out that's free, it's free, man. People pay for me to teach them this in person or in 12 week challenge groups. That book is free. I literally broke down everything that you need to know about eating, not dieting, not mind boggling diets, counting calories, macros and micros and grams and milligrams and whatever the hell, proteins and, and all that shit. You don't need it. It's not vegan. We spoke, I spoke about vegan the other day. Stay away from Googling vegan diets because all vegan diets are going to push you to processed food. All vegan diets are going to push you to processed food. That's why there's fat vegans and fat vegetarians still. Man, you guys are vegan. You guys are vegetarian. You've been doing the vegan thing for a year, two years. Man, you're still fat because they're eating processed food. You want to research shit? Research plant-based food. That is healthy. That is life. Plant-based food is life. Plant-based food. Okay? This is where it's at. That's life. Meat. Dairy. Eggs. It's pus. This is pus. Pus. P-U-S, and mucus, mu, Jesus Christ, mucus, all right, that's killing you, so what is somebody going to say, well, I hired Jimmy and James and Ronnie and but Billy and uh, Michael are online and they gave me this keto diet and I don't eat no fruits and vegetables and, and rice and I eat all meat and I lost all this weight and he's really ripped up. One, he's probably on fucking steroids. Two, you are worried about how the outside of you looks. These people who are on this shit all day, every day, and that's what they eat, they don't care about what their insides look like. If you took them and cut them in half and opened them up, their arteries are like a three, four hundred pound man. Their arteries are fucked. Those are the ones that are going to have a heart attack and a stroke. You'll see it. It'll just come. Do we know now? No. I mean, I'm saying today, no. But I promise you it's coming. And I would put my arteries against any one of those motherfuckers any day. Guarantee you my blood flows better than their blood. Anybody who was on a plant-based diet and doesn't eat this shit is they're, they're the healthiest people on the planet, flat out. No disease, no problems, no achy bones, no arthritis, no cataracts, no fucking heart, no, no nothing, no di di diabetes, ain't none of that. This is life, man. This is death. Everything that has to do with this category is death. Everything's dead. You're eating carcass. So you just let carcass sit and rot in your system. Plant-based food, it, you, you, it's just meant to be, man. Think about what you're, think about when you sit down and you really think about what you're doing and what you're eating, it all makes sense. You have to, you have to use your common sense when it comes to eating and the things that you believe and what you look up and this and that. There is no possible fucking way that meat and dairy and eggs and mucus causing food and stuff that's processed with chemicals and this and that is good for your body. That's where disease comes from. That's where all the fat comes from. That's where obesity comes from. That's why our kids are sick. That's why our kids are fat. I said this a million times. Back when I was in school, there was one or two fat kids in school. Everybody else was slim and trim. Look at the schools now. Look at our elementary schools. All the kids are overweight, got bellies, busting out the top of their shit. The one skinny kid gets picked on now. That's fucked up. We're brainwashed. Think about it. So if you want to learn how to eat, I'm not trying to turn nobody vegan, period. I'm just trying to get you as healthiest as you can be.
I'm trying to maximize your health with whatever fitness program you're doing. You ain't got to do extreme results, but you need to eat right. Because if you're not eating right, you're, you're wasting your time. Plant-based food, not vegan, all right? Plant-based, not vegan. Why? I'll explain it one more time and I'm done. Plant-based food is going to push you to everything that has life, everything that was grown. When things grow, what do they need? Oxygen, water. What are we? Carbon, right? <clears throat> Shit. What are these? What, what, when, when, when they push you to vegan... They're giving you all processed shit. So what, Lucky Charms has a cereal? They're gonna give you a vegan cereal that's just as equal to the chemicals that are in um, the, the Lucky Charms. They just might call it Vegan Charms or some shit like that. It's all still processed. It all still has the same chemicals, the same dyes, all the same shit. You just move from a word to another word. You didn't move from um, unhealthy to healthy. So when, you, when you're looking at um, diet plans and whatever you're going to get yourself into and spend money on over this New Year's, new me, resolution shit. Think. Use your common sense. Download that book. I'm going to put the link when I'm done. I should be there already, but I, I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't even thinking about pushing the book until right now. But anyways, I explain it all. And it's, and it's, it's simple. It's in a, it's in a bullet point a PDF that explains it simple, clear, and easy for you. You don't have to stress out about eating, um, counting, and logging, and putting it in your phone, and doing this, and doing that. That by itself, you changing and doing and eating how I'm teaching you how to eat, 80% of your life, you're going to drop 20, 30, 40 pounds in the next six, seven, eight weeks. Guarantee you. You're definitely dropping 20 in a month if you do that 90%. Period. 110%. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it helped one person. Again, when I go live and I do what I do, I, I, I'm in the hopes of maybe one person. I can touch one person. I touch one person. I can change one person. I can help one person do something that they've been struggling with for years, or, or they just been struggling with period. I'm happy and that's what I do it for. And that's why the book is free.